Ladies and gentlemen, I have made it to the start of the Colorado Trail. After driving ten and a half hours from Flagstaff yesterday, getting here at about one in the morning, getting a couple hours of sleep, and then getting to the trailhead, I am ready to start. 500 miles from here to Durango, Colorado. So, here we go. So the first seven, seven and a half miles, pretty good. Just a road walk basically. Really flat, really easy, beautiful scenery. Now it actually looks like it's gonna cut back up on the trail. I got about six miles of going uphill and then should be nothing but like flats for the rest of the day, so. What a day. I ended up doing 26.7 miles on day one. Not really because I wanted to, more out of necessity. A super, super dry section. There was like an eight mile dry section and then a 10 mile dry section. So I ended up hiking to a, um, a firehouse kind of out here in the middle of nowhere. The trail crosses a road and right down the road is a little firehouse and awesome enough, the uh, firefighters actually have a spigot outside that they allow hikers to use. So got there, filled up on water, and then backtracked about like 0.1 back to this little uh, camp spot that I have for tonight. I'm not too far from a road, um, which I'm not 100% excited about that. But after 26.7 miles, I was not going any further. <laughs> um, I've, I've had my fill for the day, I guess you could say. So, I'm going to eat some dinner, I'm going to lay down, I'm going to pass out because, man, am I tired. That's a lot of miles for day one. And uh, I'm going to get up tomorrow and do it all over again. Because that's what I like to do. off and rolling this morning and it looks like it's going to be another dry day there's like a little bit of water here in the beginning and then there should be some water at the end of my day i think that i'm going to try to do another 20 25 miles today might as well um, basically again because of the water thing if i stop at 20 there's not really going to be any water if i stop before that not really any water but if i push it to about 24 um, apparently there's water so, out of necessity, it looks like I'm doing another big day right off the bat. So far, it really looks like Arizona out here. Um, even this area right now, I'm like running through some aspen trees. But honestly, it kind of looks like just outside of Flagstaff on the Arizona Trail. So, definitely excited to get above tree line and see some of these beautiful Colorado mountains. So honestly, the last 12 miles of trail was super boring. 
so boring that I put in my headphones, zoned out, and forgot to film anything. But hey, when I stopped for lunch, I received trail magic in the form of a peach tea snapple. So that was pretty awesome. All right, back to the hiking. What an amazing day of hiking it was today. Um, I just got here to like mile 51, so I passed the first 50 miles. Um, sounds like a lot, but honestly, the terrain has been pretty easy, mainly because I had my trail legs before coming out here because of the U into High Line. Um, if I was just starting fresh off the couch or something, there's no way I would have made it to 50 miles, 51 miles by day two. Have an awesome dinner tonight that I'm really excited about. I actually have pesto couscous with refried beans in it and a smoky turkey bacon to put inside of it. So like pesto, smoky, salty. Mmm, so good. The plan tomorrow is to get up pretty early and try to put in a pretty large day and kind of get into camp. I'm gonna to try to get into camp somewhat early. That doesn't usually work out, but just so I can have a little more camp time. Um, I'm basically trying to get to Breckenridge by Saturday. I have a box that's waiting there for me, so um, I'm gonna to try to grab that and then get to Leadville, Colorado by Tuesday, which is my birthday. Um, I'll be turning 35. I have some friends that live in Leadville that I haven't seen in a very long time. So I'm going to go out and get a pizza with them. So that is the plan. Aside from that, I'm about to eat this food. Then I think I'm going to listen to a little bit of a podcast. Then I'm going to lay down and go to bed. Great day. <laughs>